This video is sponsored by Nordgreen Copenhagen. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have shot my stash. I've picked out a few goodies that you haven't seen before that I'm gonna use in this look. And I'm attempting to create what I think of as sort of Danish beauty. If you've watched my channel for a long time, you guys know I have a real fondness in my heart for the Danes and just Denmark and Scandinavia in general. So I thought it would be really fun today to create a makeup look inspired by the Danes based on what I observed while I was over in Copenhagen last year in July, as well as a little bit of research that I did online. Obviously there's a huge variety of makeup styles I'm sure, but this kind of like no makeup makeup, your face but better kind of makeup style seemed to be the overwhelming consensus of what Danes enjoy in their makeup looks so I thought it'd be really fun. As I said earlier this video is kindly sponsored by Nordgreen Copenhagen which is so exciting. And they are a Danish timepiece brand so they create beautiful watches and straps. I couldn't be more thrilled to be working with them on this video. So Nordgreen watches feature that really beautiful minimalist Scandinavian design that I really love. Making their pieces really really wearable, very very classic. They go with so many different outfits and styles. They are designed in Copenhagen by Jacob Wagner, who is one of the most renowned Scandinavian designers and the former lead designer of B&O and Hay. And they've got a great range of styles to suit any sort of gender or like level of femininity or masculinity, depending on what you like in your watches. And the piece that I picked out is part of their native collection. So this is the largest sized native watch that they sell and it's in the traditional gold color with the gold chain strap and I also have the brown leather strap that you can change out. All you have to do is push down on this little metal lever on the back of the watch strap and it just pops right out and then the new strap pops in just as easily. So it makes the watch super super versatile depending on what kind of style you're going for that day. Besides the fact that the designs are obviously very in keeping with my kind of style, I also loved that the company places a great importance on contributing back to society where they give back to non-for-profit organizations both locally as well as internationally. So they also have this amazing initiative called the Giving Back Program as well where you can actually decide between the three different donation options that they have on their site. So depending on what you're most passionate about you get a bit of a say essentially in where your money is going to be donated. One of the good causes has a focus on health where they've partnered with Water for Good. So when you purchase a watch you'll be giving two months of clean water to an individual in the Central Africa. African Republic. You could alternatively select education where your contribution will be given to Pratham UK which is an organization that helps to give a whole month's education to a child in India. But if your heart lies with an environmental cause you can opt to have your contribution given to Cool Earth which will preserve 50 square meters of rainforest in Latin America. So I just think this is such a great initiative where it places in your hands as the consumer the power to choose which cause is most meaningful to you. So I will of course have a link to the Nordgreen Copenhagen site in the description below as well as a discount code which gives you guys 20% off anything on their site for the next three days using my code ANA20 and then after three days that does reduce to 15%. So I'm also going to show you guys how I styled my watch today. So I've actually got on this little dress. This is from And of the Stories and I actually bought this while I was over in Copenhagen last year so I thought it would be really fun to put that on today. Got on my black tights and <laughs> my Emu Australia slippers because let's be real we're all working from home right now so these are appropriate work shoes for such a thing. And then I've just put this little Cezanne sweater over the top. It actually matches my slippers really well. Even though I'm right-handed I do wear my watch on my right hand because with violin I find it just to be a little bit too constricting around my wrist so I like to wear it on my right hand. But I just really like this little outfit. It's like a little bit dressed up. I feel like I'm ready for the day but still comfortable enough to wear around the house. So once again thank you so much Nordgreen Copenhagen for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. And now let's get underway with the Danish makeup look. Got myself my little cup of Danish tea. This one is a sweet apple and lemon flavoured black tea. It's really nice. So from what I understand Danish beauty and sort of Scandinavian beauty in general is typically quite sort of no makeup makeup-y. And in a very sort of broad and general sense Danes really value makeup that just sort of enhances their natural features and still allows them to look like them. Like it's very much about your face but better. I'm going to begin with concealer. I'm using the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. All of these products as well are also drugstore brands. Just to cover up some of that discoloration I have 
under my eyes this is a really beautiful formula it's very lightweight it does give a pretty good coverage but it's nothing too heavy so I really like it when I want to do quite a natural sort of makeup look and I'm just blending that in with my flower beauty sponge and then for foundation I'm going to use this Marcel foundation this is a Canadian drugstore brand and this is their flawless skin fusion foundation and it's one that's been sitting in my drawer for quite a while and I thought it would be fun to sort of pull it out for a little shot my stash. This is in the shade Classic Ivory, which is a pretty good match. It might be a little bit on the neutral side, might need a little more pink in it, but it leaves a really, really beautiful like skin-like finish. It's very similar and kind of reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Dream uh, Radiant Liquid Foundation, the one I reviewed about a month ago. So I've really been enjoying it. I've been using it a lot in the last couple of days. I thought it was perfect for this kind of look where we just want to perfect the skin without it looking too heavy. So this gives a really nice sort of medium coverage. It leaves a beautiful sort of natural satin finish on the skin. Your skin still looks like skin with this one, but it just looks a little better. <laughs> you can see I still have like a nice amount of glow on my face. I am gonna put a little bit of bronzer on. I'm gonna use a very, very lightweight natural one and it's actually a primer, I believe. <laughs> it's by L'Oreal. It's their Glow Sherry Natural Glow Enhancer and this is actually the shade Medium Glow. So it's the darkest shade I think they offer at least in Australia. But I picked up the shade because I thought it might make a really nice kind of liquid bronzer from the drugstore. It's got a really nice sort of undertone to it where it doesn't look too sort of orange either. So it's been something that I've really been enjoying playing with. I usually put a little bit back on my hand and then grab a bit on my sponge and just apply it this way. And it just helps to add like the most subtle glow to the skin. If you are scared of bronzer or if you find something like the Chanel cream bronzer a little bit too intense then this is the way to go it's because this is such a nice subtle approach and you really can't screw it up it just looks beautiful very healthy looking and then for blush i'm going to use my flower beauty blush bomb this is in the shade pinched jessica braun sent this to me to try out in our collab video that we had go up last week even though i absolutely love my sponge for applying cream products this particular blush does apply a little bit better with fingers because it's quite subtle so you really have to use fingers or actually just don't really notice it. <laughs> it just sort of absorbs so much into the sponge because it's quite liquidy. So this method of application is a little tip that I got from Jess to put some on the back of your hand and then tap it from there so you don't get too much either. And then for just a tiny bit of highlighter, I'm actually not going to bother my cheeks because you can see they're still really radiant. I just want to put a little bit like on my cupid's bow and in this part here. I'm going to use this Technic Cream Shadow. This is the shade Blondie. It's kind of a powdery cream shadow. It's not super emollient. It sort of reminds me of like the Colourpop Super Shock cheek colours. It's kind of moussey. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that just here on my cupid's bow. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Really subtle as well. It has a really nice sort of satiny finish to it. Terrible packaging though. The lid is already broken and it's it's I've got to be really careful with it. Technic has the worst packaging, but their products are beautiful, so it's like really annoying. Maybe a little bit under my brow bone too. So from this article I was reading, I think it was a Vogue article with a Danish beauty editor and they were saying that they typically use actually quite a few products to achieve the no makeup makeup look, but it's all about like just subtle amounts of each thing and layering up. Um, so for example, you know, adding those really tiny bits of highlight, it might seem like an unnecessary step, but it can really make all the difference in achieving that beautiful like your skin but better kind of makeup look, which I'm all about that sort of makeup, especially for like day to day. Um, I do have a little bit of a friend here, as you can see. I don't get face friends very often these days, so I'm going to apply just a little bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer over top because it's nice and full coverage and it will just help to hide that a little bit. And just to set some parts of my face as well, I'm going to use my Models Preferred Mineral Veil. Just a little bit of that to set like some of that concealer and just around my cheek, just so that it really stays in place all day. And then for brows, I'm going to use my Marcel Perfect Brow. This gives a very fluffy, natural look to the brows. I think a tinted brow gel is the way to go for like an everyday, soft, kind of feathery brow. And it might not seem like it will build up enough colour, but I find particularly this one works really well on its own. And you can just sort of stain your skin a little bit as well. 
So there's the difference between my brow done and my brow undone. For eyes, I'm going to use this little Wet n Wild quad. This is their Walking on Eggshells quad. It's a real old school fave. <laughs> but I'm just going to apply a little bit of this Brow Bone shade. I'm actually going to apply that though across the lids. I just want to add like a little bit of a, a subtle wash of cream shimmer. Just really subtle. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of the transition shade. I'm just going to like sort of tap my brush in and really tap it off because I don't want too much colour. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that through the crease for some definition. They are really nice wearable colours. So as you see, like really, really subtle. It's just enough to give a bit of shape to the eye, but nothing where it really looks like you're wearing a lot of eyeshadow. So now I'm going to go in with some liner. I'm going to use three, which seems very excessive, but as I say, I want very specific things out of each one and I want it to look as subtle as possible. So I'm going to use my nude liner first. This is the Annabelle Waterline Liner. And we're just going to brighten the lower waterline with that. And then I'm going to tight line with my black Annabelle liner. So even when I'm using like different colored liners on the top lash line, I still like to tight line with black because I think it just makes my lashes look more full and thick. And I just, I don't know, I like, I like black on my tight line. But then I'm going to go in with a brown liner, pencil liner, on my top lash line. So this is the Flower Beauty Forever Wear Long Wearing Eyeliner. I love this particular formula, it's so nice. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to my top lash line, just really, really close the lash line, just to thicken those a bit. But it's a little bit softer than using a black. Because I'm doing such a subtle look, I just really wanted it to be a brown. So I'm just applying it mainly to like the outer third. So you can really see it's so subtle, but it makes just enough of a difference for it to be worth the extra step. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with some mascara. This is my Marcel mascara. And then for lips, I'm just going to go in with a lip liner first, just to kind of shape my lips slightly, but I'm going to use very, very little pressure. I'm just going to use the NYX Lavender and Lace Lip Pencil, what's new? <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with my MAC lipstick in Act Natural, which is a really nice nude. I'm actually going to use my finger and I'm just going to like kind of press a bit of this colour into my lips but like yeah I don't want as opaque as it would give if I swiped it on because we just want it to look really natural. So that's the finished look there. I'm so happy with how it looks. It's just so natural and just flattering but not super obvious like there's nothing on my face maybe apart from my lashes that really screams you're wearing a lot of makeup which I really love especially just for every day um, it's great makeup to wear if you're currently at home and you're still doing like zoom meetings <laughs> for work and you want to look a little bit put together on camera but you know you don't want to be like in a full full face um, something like this kind of look can be really nice just to wear around home just makes yourself feel a little bit more productive I always find wearing a bit of makeup makes me productive even if I am working from home so Remember, I do have a link to where you can check out the Nord Green watches in the description below. And don't forget that you can use my coupon code for the next three days to get 20% off on a 20 and after that is 15% off. If you want to check out some of my recent blog posts, then you can head over to lifebyannaandlane.com. And if you want to interact with me and talk between my videos, then definitely check out my socials. I have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and we'll talk soon. Bye.